Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, today I get to share with you the Small Die of the Month from Spellbinders. The Small Die of the Month Club is a club kit subscription and I'll link it down below. But this month's um, die set is a 10 piece set and they're pretty amazing. It's called Kaleidoscope Trio and they're meant to layer together um, the circles here, you get three dies that have different um, patterns on there that you layer together to create a real beautiful kaleidoscope effect. And then you get this shape here, and then along with um, the triangle pieces that are down the bottom, you layer all four of those together and it um, creates a really neat accent for your projects. So we're gonna make a card today using these dies and we're gonna jump in. So I wanted to create a background. We're gonna set these aside. But for my background, I wanted to bring in my Jane Davenport um, color sticks. The, I have the Soul Window set, and there's some nice, bright, vibrant colors in it. And so I thought we would create a background using a few of these. So I'm bringing in my craft mat, and I really love the top three colors here. Um, there's a purple, like a real bright fuchsia, and then there's a, a real pretty pink. I chose those, and I'm just scribbling them on my craft mat. And we'll do our last one. Then I'll use my spray bottle, and we are going to add some water to it. I wanted to create um, a colorful background. I thought this would be a great way to do it. Now I'm not I'm not doing this on my watercolor cardstock. I wanted a bright white cardstock. So this is just my regular card base cardstock that I trim down. But I'm just doing a little bit of um, blending here. Just blending all three colors in the row that I put them down. And I'm making sure I'm not going quite to the edge, but I do want a full panel. This way I can trim down the left and right of my panel and I, you can still see the edge of that watercolor. But super pretty, I'm just adding a little extra color, kind of brightening it up a little bit. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna use my heat gun and go ahead and dry my background panel. Pretty colors. Okay, next I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm gonna trim off a quarter inch from the left and the right side of this panel. This way when I place it on my card base, there's a little bit of an edge showing from the card base itself. So we'll just trim this side down. And I think that's gonna create a real nice background. Okay, after we have that done, I have a piece of cardstock that measures five and a half inches tall and then three or two and a quarter inches wide. I'm gonna take the circle dies, line them up, and I'm going to die cut out windows in this panel. Once I have that, then I also die cut out a few of the elements. Three of them all the way to the right are the same, and then I die cut two, and then one of the very first layer. I'm gonna pop up this panel with some foam tape. And these, these dies were so pretty, and when you layer them together, they were just stunning. Um, I wanted to keep my card basically white, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere my watercolor panel to my card base, and then I'll add this panel right down the center, just so the edges of that watercolor panel are peeking out, but the inside of the circles are have full color. After we have that done, I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive and pop up um, my decorative die pieces and place them inside the window. So they're the same level right now, but you could see that color right behind it. Now these three are all the same, and I thought we would add um, dimensional adhesive behind these, just in the center, and no worries that it, you could see the dimensional adhesive behind it. We're gonna fix that with some embellishments. But I wanted an added layer of detail. So we're just gonna layer two of them together on this panel. And I think they create a real stunning effect. I'll just remove the release paper here and we're gonna place that in the very top one. And then you have that little hint of color peeking behind it. I think it looks very stunning. 
Okay, once we have this done, I think that looks so neat. Something very um, unique. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to take a Celebrate die that I had in my stash, and I die cut it out with black cardstock. I just layered that in the center of my circle. And then after we have this done, we're going to embellish it with a few iridescent bubbles. And then later on, I ended up adding a couple more layers of the black Celebrate just to give it a little bit more stability. Um, it just seemed a little bit un, um, flimsy. <laughs> so I ended up... Um, layering three of the black celebrates together but that's my first project very simple but very unique and I love the way that turned out now we're going to do basically the same thing for our next project so I did it with these dies here but I thought it would be fun to create a shaker so I cut down a piece of acetate that matched the same size of my little window panel here I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back side and then we'll go ahead and add our acetate. For this card I wanted to create an anniversary card and so I wanted to keep it um, very elegant. So after we have this done I'm going to flip this around. Nope I'm not going to flip that around. Take that back. <laughs> I'm going to use my glue and directly adhere each one of my die cut elements to the window. We're going to inlay it on the acetate sheet we're going to do that to all three of them. Just add a little bit of glue. And then you notice here that the top and the bottom are the same uh, pattern. And then the middle one is actually the second layer. For this card, we're just going to do use one layer. And I think it turned out um, very, very pretty. I added foam tape behind my panel. And I did um, add it between each of the layers. That way the sequins will stay in their position. I'm just removing the release paper. And then we'll go ahead and add some sequins. The sequins that I'm using are some gold sequins. And I only used one layer of foam tape. Um, sometimes I like to do this because it doesn't let it doesn't allow the, the sequins to shake around. It kind of keeps them um, mobile, but a little bit more stationary, kind of, sort of, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I love that effect. I think it turned out so neat, that gold peeking behind that beautiful pattern. Okay, for my sentiment, I'm going to use this stamp and die set. It's called, it's from Spellbinder, so it's called Happy Expressions. Um, I've had this for a while, but I, I don't know if they still have it. If they do, I'll link it down below. But it has a shadow for the happy. I'm going to use white cardstock to cut that out. And then for the thinner happy, I'm going to use some sparkly, um, glittery gold cardstock. For this card, like I said, I'm making a happy anniversary card. So I'll stamp the word happy or er, anniversary on some white card stock. And I'll go ahead and die cut everything out and trim down my anniversary. After we have everything die cut, we are going to go ahead and glue down the happy to our shadow here. And that gold just is super sparkly and it goes really well with the sequins on the inside of our shaker. Okay, I'm going to flip over my anniversary. We're going to add a piece of foam tape behind here. And then we're going to go ahead and build our card. Now I thought we would bring in a little more gold. So I have a piece of gold card stock. Um, I cut down a thin strip and I'm just adhering that to the left side of my card base. Then we'll go ahead and flip over our shaker panel. Add some tape behind here. And place that on our card base. For both cards today, my card base sizes are standard A2 size cards. I love the white and gold. I just think it looks very elegant. I'm going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive behind the word happy. Um, the part of the happy that's on top of the shaker panel, I'm just going to use one layer. But when it um, meets the card base, I'm going to double up. That way everything's nice and even. I went ahead and added the word anniversary. And we're going to add just a couple more gold sequins. We're just going to go with three. I'm just going to go ahead and use my glue and secure those to my card base. But it's very simple, but the patterns in the dies this month are just gorgeous. We'll just do a little tucking with that last one. I think it's so pretty. 
So these are both the cards that I made today with the Spellbinders die of the Small Die of the Month Club Kit. It's a great price. Um, I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. Um, but if you are a subscriber to the kit, I hope this gives you some ideas on how to use it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.